This is a Cub Cadet spindle and these are designed to be maintenance free. There's no grease fittings on these and you can see that rust has built up around the bearing here and there's rust down here where the blade mounts and what happens is the grease dissipates inside the rubber seals and then what happens is you get that classic the grease is gone and the bearing will eventually fail sound which is kind of like a rumbling sound and that's that's classic case where your bearings need grease and you can pop these rubber seals off with a seal puller here and as you can see here the grease is dissipated inside this bearing so that's why you get that rumbling sound in there and you could very easily grease those as you can see here I greased the bearing this one here I use the Rochelle Rotilla ET extra tacky it's designed for wet applications now here's a brand new Cub Cadet spindle and you can hear the difference pretty much silent that is a brand new one that's hundred and twenty dollars by the way at this time this is an aftermarket 810 spindle you could get three of these spindles with the pulley they have grease fittings on them and they come with three blades for hundred and twenty dollars and this is just a beautiful thing right here now here's another example this is a Husqvarna spindle and the Husqvarna has the grease fitting on top grease goes down here and it spreads out into the housing I have not taken apart the A10 ones yet to look at see how that's set up to see if there's caps on both sides of the bearings but this here is also silent and the Husqvarna obviously comes with a five star on there the Cub Cadet has the proprietary Cub Cadet Z style and the aftermarket 810 comes with a six star so you could replace your Cub Cadet spindles with the 810s and then buy six star blades for a fraction of the cost because the Cub Cadet blades are like $80 a set now if you didn't want to replace the whole spindles you can always just replace the shaft in your existing spindles you can get these take them apart and then you could just replace this the shaft here's a shaft here so that's what you need to to focus on is the fact that your deck wash is going to eventually have your bearings fail it's a comparison between the A10 six star aftermarket the Cub Cadet proprietary Z spindles A10 has a grease fitting Cub Cadet does not replacement Cub Cadets do not have threads A10s do A10s come with bolts these are the blades that come with the A10 they are thicker than your stock Cub Cadet blades and like I say it comes with a six star so you could buy any kind of blade you want you can buy high lift low lift mulching blades whatever you want to do and these work great so what does the maintenance free cub cadet spindle actually look like inside after you use deck wash as you can see the shaft has plenty of rust on it here's I loosened up the bearing here's the bearing and here's the metal sleeve that goes inside obviously you can see it's rusty and this is the inside of the spindle so not sure if you could see that or not but I'll get a picture of it for you that's what happens when you use deck wash because these are not sealed with rubber waterproof bushings and stuff now here's the a10 spindle this is the brand new one 
with the grease fitting on it and you can see it's nice and clean inside but the grease fitting will allow you to fill this cavity up with grease then your spindles won't fail on you now these shafts that come with the A10 the six point for the blades are interchangeable with the Cub Cadets so if your Cub Cadet spindles are still good and you want to put grease fittings in them and you don't want to buy Cub Cadet blades you can try to get just the shafts I don't know if 810 offers that but for the cost of the 810 spindles they're not that expensive and you could always keep them as spares so here's what you get when you order your brand new Cub Cadet replacement spindle with pulley is, is a complete unit with obviously the proprietary blade mount and what people find is that these are not tapped for the existing bolts so these existing bolts here they're kind of strange they have kind of like a triangle shape to them and they're probably a self tapper so what I do with these is I have a spiral tap and my spiral tap is a 5 16 by 18 thread which which is similar to the exact same thread there's an m8 metric that is similar to this too here's our new spindle from cub cadet as we've said before these do not come tapped for your bolts you have to uh, save your existing bolts because they don't come with bolts either and you have to tap them um, you should use some kind of oil to uh, lubricate your 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 tap so when you do this you don't have any drag and then this will just go in nice and easy like this here we can show you and this is just going to screw right in and we're making threads going in there it is coming out the other side and there's and there's our threads so it's not that complicated to do this you get yourself a decent tap for this I use a 5 16 by 18 thread tap as the 5 16 by 18 bolts these are real close to your standard bolts there I'm not going to screw this in here yet because there's some shavings around here so I want to clean all those shavings out before I screw this bolt in is basically this guy here will screw right in like this there you are and it just works perfect it'll, it'll mount it right to your deck and as you saw it didn't really take that much effort to tap this out nice Cub Cadet maintenance free spindles are really not maintenance free every spindle on a mower deck has these seal bearings with rubber shields and moisture could get past those shields and and ruin your grease that's in there and it'll cause a bearing failure I mean there's other failures you could have with these particular spindles I'm using performance tool grease fittings the 1 quarter by 28 thread they're exactly the same thread as the 810 spindles these come in a 10 pack so if you draw your Cub Cadet spindles go with the 1 quarter by 28 thread they're exactly the same as the 810s so then you'll continue to have everything interchangeable All right, I have an 810 spindle here 
they come with the grease fittings so I took the fitting out this is the Cub Cadet obviously they don't come with grease fittings so I measured this distance here it's 1 and 3 sixteenths to the center of the hole so you want to measure from the top of the spindle which is this side down 1 and 3 sixteenths and right in the center of this little whoop-de-doo here that's where you want to put your hole for your grease fitting All right, when I'm drilling stuff like this out, I mean this bit, obviously the number three is pretty large, so you go like this. You can use this bit to, to start with and drill everything out. I generally like to start out with a smaller bit. This is a 964 drop point bit. I drill nice and easy, so I get a nice even Low cut aluminum is very soft, so you don't have to get very aggressive with this. You just go nice and easy, and then the bit will do the work for you. And there it is. Tapping these is straightforward. It's just like we did when we tapped the threads for the deck mounts. I mean, I personally like spiral taps, but in this case, because I was able to get the kit, the drill bit, and a standard tap for under $5, it was worth it just to get that since I did not have a spiral tap in the quarter inch by 28. So you're just going to take this and we're going to square it up just like this and we're going to just ease the tap in there like this and you're going to screw it in like this and you want to kind of like do this so any shavings fall out this way if you did not take out this bearing so you're just going to screw this in nice and easy like this it's very simple so you can see some shavings are falling out there and we're we're in there now see you can see that and we're just going to back it out there you go And there it is. We drilled and tapped the new Cub Cadet spindle and we screwed in grease fitting. And now we're going to tap the original Cub Cadet spindles since we already drilled them out. And like I showed in my other video, tapping these is, is really simple. You just line up your tap like this. Screw it in nice and easy. As you can see we're all the way through there. Back it out. Make sure everything's clean. Make sure your threads are clean inside here. Make sure there's no debris inside your threads here. You could blow this out. Make sure you wear safety glasses to do that. And then you could put some blue thread lock on these and then they just screw right in. It's a very simple process. It'll save the life of your spindles. So now you can grease them, keep them full of grease and you'll be all set.